Hello, I'm Hardy Flickinger with LJ Star Incorporated, and our tutorial today is on following best practices in the selection and use of sanitary clamps. Before we get too far into this webinar, I would like to a word about tech terminology. I'll be using the phrases sanitary clamps, sanitary fittings, and hygienic clamps interchangeably. They're just different phrases for the same type of mechanism. In facilities that process pharmaceutical or biotechnology products, pipe and tube connections must be disassembled frequently for system cleaning and equipment reconfiguration. Sanitary clamps are crucial to keeping processing systems clean while allowing maintenance personnel to disconnect and reconnect piping quickly and securely. However, as simple as that sounds, Making secure and sanitary process system connections consistently requires maintenance personnel to have the right clamps, the right tools, and the right training. A connection that isn't properly secured can call the hygienic integrity of the whole process system into question. If an improperly clamped connection allows even a tiny amount of process media or cleaning solution to leak out, there's a possibility that air and bacteria could leak in. That may make it necessary to scrap the whole batch of product, which can cost the facility hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars in lost revenue. Protecting those working with clamp connections is just as important as protecting the process media and equipment. High levels of pressure and temperature, steam, and caustic process materials all have the potential to pose workplace hazards. Improper handling practices can be costly and unsafe. All sanitary connections consist of the same components, two ferrules, a gasket, and a clamp. Ferrules are designed to provide a mated surface for connection. The beveled surface on the outside diameter of the ferrule is designed to mate with the inside diameter of the clamp. A groove on the face of each ferrule provides a seat for the gasket. Ferrules are typically made of 304 or 316 grade stainless, which makes them easy to clean. The 316 grade offers a high level of resistance to corrosion for solutions of sulfuric acid, chlorides, bromides, and fatty acids at high temperatures. At its most basic, a sanitary clamp is designed to seal two ferrules together quickly, securely, and without creating sites where contamination can collect or can harbor bacteria. Ferrules are the extended lips on the pipe ends, designed to ensure a tight connection when used with the right gasket and clamp for the application. In this drawing of a standard ASME BPE ferrule, note the outer diameter of the flange labeled B here. It's the same width for both the half inch and the three quarter inch fittings, just as it is for the one inch and one and a half inch fittings. When you are sizing fittings, make certain that you're measuring the outer diameter of the tubing shown here as D rather than the flange. A gasket provides a leak-proof seal between the two ferrules when properly clamped. Buna, EPDM, Viton, silicone, and Teflon, or PTFE, are commonly used gasket materials. Selecting an appropriate gasket is essential in maintaining a safe, clean, and leak-free connection. Temperature ratings and resistance to degradation are key factors when determining the best gasket material for a particular application. When deciding on a gasket material, consider compatibility with the material being transferred, including cleaning solutions, as well as the operating pressure and temperature of the system. Clamps provide the mechanical force to compress the gasket between the ferrules. Different clamp types include single pin, double pin, high pressure, ASME, safety, and lockout. 
Both wing nut and hex nut fasteners are available for securing all types of these clamps. Clamps are typically constructed of 304 or 316 stainless steel. Sanitary fittings have a polished surface finish to reduce friction and eliminate surface imperfections that could give contaminants a place to hide. The correct surface finish for a fitting depends on the application. The standard fitting finish for food and dairy applications is 32RA. Pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical applications use the ASME BPE standard, which ranges from SF0 to SF6. There are three steps your technicians and operators must know to achieve reliable clamp connections. Step one is inspection. It's very important to inspect before installation. Here are a few tips on what to look for. Check the alignment of the ferrules. The alignment of the ferrules is critical. The clamp cannot be used to pull pipes and components into alignment. Check the gap between the ferrule faces. Ideally, to minimize pipe stress, the gap between the ferrules should be the same width as the gasket. Check the surface of the ferrules for imperfections. Defects such as gouge or scratches can create a leak pathway. Even a tiny scratch can be an area where bacteria can grow. Examine the ferrules for residue. Residue from a previous gasket should be carefully removed to provide a smooth, flat surface. If there is residue on the mating face of the ferrule, the gasket will not seat properly. Prior to installation, visually inspect the gasket for discoloration, cracks, and imper imperfections such as gouges, tears, or product buildup on the surface of the gasket. Also, check the gasket's pliability. They can become brittle with use and age. An elastomeric gasket should not crack when it is flexed or bent. Confirm that the size of the gasket is correct. An incorrectly sized gasket will allow for voids and intrusions where material can collect and bacteria can grow. Check the clamp for common defects, such as deformations and bent components, loose hinges, damaged threads, and any indications caused by uneven compression. Inspections are vital because they are the first line of defense against potential contamination issues. Catching potential problems now prevents bigger problems later. Step two is installation. Position the gasket between the ferrule flanges. Align the bead of the gasket with the grooves of both ferrule flange faces. Mate the faces together and then apply the clamp. Make sure both flanges are within the clamp groove. When the clamp is tightened, it squeezes on the flanges, pulling the ferrules toward each other. This creates a proper seal. The clamp connection should perfectly align the two ferrules, providing a uniform level of pressure to the gasket. Align the ferrules properly before attempting to apply the clamp. Pipe hangers or supports should be properly adjusted for alignment. The clamp must never be used to pull pipes and components into alignment. When tightening the clamp around the ferrules and gasket, make sure to maintain proper alignment. In a proper installation, the gasket is slightly compressed and the bead is centered in the ferrule groove. The gasket's inside diameter should be aligned with the pipe's inside diameter so there is no intrusion or void. The ASME BPE standard for gasket intrusion is 25 one thousandths of an inch. The alignment here is critical. It must be precise and even on all sides. Any irregularities will result in inconsistent or incomplete compression. Sometimes the ferrules are not perfectly aligned. If they meet at an angle, as shown here, 
then one side of the gasket will be overcompressed and the other side will have gaps that can trap bacteria or process material. Being off even the slightest angle can be problematic. The maximum allowable misalignment is only two to three degrees. When a clamp is tightened, as specified, the ferrules draw together very slightly. For instance, on a BPE ferrule, a secure seal compresses the gasket only 0.3 millimeters or 12 thousandths of an inch. Step three, identify and confirm whether it's been installed correctly and is doing its job. Make sure that the clamp is neither over or under tightened. Over tightening can be spotted by checking the clamp jaws that touch. Properly tightened hygienic clamps have some space between the jaws. On the other hand, too much space in between the jaws may leave gaps between the gasket and ferrules. This invites the opportunity for the ingress of pathogens and contaminations. Even if they do not cause drips, these gaps can cause hard to clean areas that clean in place processes cannot reach. You can use an approved torque tool to tighten the hygienic clamp to ensure that neither over nor under tightening occurs. Include inspections of ferrules, gaskets, clamps, and piping as part of your regular maintenance procedures. Changeovers and cleaning routines may mean the conditions have changed. Equipment may travel as a result of vibration, moving pipelines out of alignment. Inspect clamps regularly to ensure that they remain at their installed torque settings. In particular, it is very important to monitor high pressure steam lines for changes in torque. Due to thermal cycling, and compression on the gasket will vary. Also, gaskets can lose elasticity or they can cold flow with age. These factors can degrade the quality of the connection and cause leaks. This can be avoided by performing maintenance on an adequate schedule, replacing gaskets as necessary, and checking for clamps loosened by vibration or thermal conditioning changes, resulting from expansion and contraction of the metals. Tighten the clamp jaws with an approved torque tool to prevent over or under tightening. Always tighten to the appropriate torque specifications. Under tightening the clamp will leave gaps between the ferrule and the gasket. Even if the connection doesn't drip, the gaps may trap material where cleaned in place processes cannot reach. That's where bacteria could collect. On the other hand, over tightening the clamp will over compress the gasket and cause it to protrude into the pipeline. Any such intrusion will create a foothold for buildup and bacteria. In order to get the proper degree of tightness, either hand tighten or use an approved torque tool. In a proper installation, the gasket is slightly compressed and the bead is centered in the ferrule groove. The gasket's inside diameter should be aligned with the pipe's inside diameter so that there is no intrusion or void. The ASME BPE standard for gasket intrusion is 25 one thousandths of an inch. The alignment here is critical. It may be precise and even on all sides. Any irregularities will result in inconsistent or incomplete compression. The clamp jaws should never touch after tightening. If the jaws touch, there may not be enough compression on the gasket to create a proper seal. This could be caused by a deformed or damaged clamp, over tightening, or using the wrong size clamp for the ferrule assembly. Sanitary clamps must be used correctly to ensure a safe, leak-free connection. Training is essential for anyone who is responsible for working with sanitary clamps. A well-designed training program should cover clamp inspection, installation, and maintenance, as well as any topics that pertain to specific operational conditions, such as the material being transferred and the operating parameters of the system. 
Sometimes following best practices means ensuring that you're using the right clamp for the application. For example, when a clamp's bolt and nut become bound or locked together, making it extremely difficult or impossible to open the clamp in order to service the connection, that's known as galling. This can occur when clamps in which both the bolt and nut are made of the same grade of stainless steel. When accidentally over-torqued, either manually or mechanically, these separate pieces of metal can fuse or bind to each other so they literally cold weld together. In some cases, maintenance personnel have had to cut the clamps off for piping to be removed. For these applications, we recommend the use of SH series clamps with an anti-galling option. Anti-galling is a resident Nitronic 60 stainless steel alloy for the bolt and a slightly softer 316 grade stainless steel for the wing nut or hex nut. If the nut is damaged by over torquing, it can be replaced easily and inexpensively. Well, that wraps up our tutorial on how to follow sanitary clamp best practices. To learn more, we encourage you to visit our website at www.ljstar.com and download our sanitary clamp best practices white paper or watch our clamp training